Before I start this video, let me take 30 seconds to tell you something about Exergic. Exergic is India's most trusted and most experienced institute for online gate preparation. I am Chandresh Mahajan, founder and chief educator at Exergic. I am an All India Rank 37 in gate mechanical engineering, an ex Indian oil officer having 7 plus years of teaching experience as of now. These are the GATE 2021 Mechanical Engineering Toppers from Exergic. You can find their preparation strategy on Exergic's website. To know more about our GATE courses, you can visit our website or contact us on these details. Also, you can download Exergic GATE preparation app from Google Play Store. The link is available in the description of video. Now let us discuss about backlash. As we know that depending upon the process, the feed motion will be given to the workpiece, right? The feed motion given to the workpiece is not given directly to the workpiece. Rather, the workpiece is mounted on the table, right? And the table is part of that feed mechanism. There may be some gear arrangement. There may be lead screw used for that. But ultimately, the feed motion will be given to the table. Table is having the workpiece. And so, any motion of the table will obviously be the motion of the workpiece. As you can see here, that we have a lead screw and nut combination, right? This lead screw is going to rotate. The rotation of this lead screw will obviously have an axial motion. We know that such helical motion means rotation as well as axial motion. That motion will obviously move the nut. This nut may not be a nut exactly, this can be part of table also or this nut can be connected to the table. So this nut will be moved if you just rotate the lead screw at its own place. So nut will start moving, right? Moving in any specific direction depending upon how you are rotating it, right or not? And that will cause the table to move. Table is having workpiece mounted over it so the rotation so the motion of table means the motion of the workpiece this is a very simple feed motion that i have shown right similar is the story here this is also same diagram but shown in a different way right any uh, you will uh, prefer any of these to understand the backlash that i am about to tell you so this is the thread this is the thread right and this is the internal thread of the nut. This nut, as I told you, can be part of a table. On the table, there can be workpiece. So this lead screw is rotated. This nut is going to move in any of the direction, depending upon how you are rotating the lead screw, which means table will move, which means workpiece will move. Maybe there will be a cutter. There will be a cutter on top, which is going to do the machining. What the point? Now comes what exactly is backlash look as you can see here also and there also there is slight gap between the uh, these two surfaces this is a gap right which i am filling right now with a blue color but ultimately there was a gap between them which you can see now right they are not completely fitting each other similarly here you can see a slight red shade of the color filled between them, right? This part here, which exactly is showing you gap between them, right? This is the gap between them. They are not completely fitting each other. Rather, there is a certain gap between the two surfaces, two threaded surfaces, right? Now, practically, there should be some gap always. Practically, think practically. Is it possible that two of these surfaces will completely be in contact with each other? No. They cannot be completely in contact with, with each other. It's not possible mechanically also. From practical point of view also, we don't want it. Why? There can be situation of thermal heating, thermal cooling. As a result of which, one may expand more than the other. Right? Expansion depends upon the dimension also, material also. In that situation, it will become difficult. There can be damages caused if one is trying to expand thermally but other is not allowing. 
you need lubrication between them lubrication needs a space between them where the liquid or the lubricant can come right even in some cases there can be bending or distortion depending upon the uh, length of the lead screw weight of it right so slight bending is also there slight adjustments needs to be there practically there has to be certain gap between them right ideally you want that to be zero but practically it cannot be zero you have to give it even if you don't give it suppose a hypothetical situation when you don't give it still due to continuous rubbing and wear and tear some gap will come between them that gap between them can be referred to as backlash not exactly not technically but can be referred to as backlash why what is backlash let me tell you suppose in this case you are trying to move this nut and the table and the workpiece by rotating this thread okay you rotated this thread in such a way that it is trying to move it in that direction have a look at this diagram and the contact this is the point where they are contacting here here and here this is the edge where they are contacting so if this rotation of thread is moving the nut in that direction so this contact is working fine but suppose now i want to change the direction suppose if i want to change the direction now slight amount of motion is possible in the other direction the white color you can see slight motion of the thread is allowed which will not cause the nut to move listen to me again the thread is allowed to move slightly in the right direction right but that right direction motion will not be translated to the machine uh, to the workpiece via nut via table why because there is gap between them getting the point so this gap although it's practically required but in certain cases it is not a good thing because the calculations will get changed now you have given a specific number of rotations to cause a specific motion of the tool you are doing the feed motion right feed motion is controlled depending upon the revolutions of the uh, cutter and all all these mechanisms are in sync with each other so if you are giving input to the table input to this thread expecting that the workpiece will move but workpiece is not moving for some duration obviously it will cause to error in your um, machining right or not why because this slight gap is present there where thread will try to move in this direction but nut is not moving table is not moving workpiece is not moving there is a slight play between them play play is a general word general as well as technical word general word play you know what is the meaning of play but in technical word play means if something is moving slightly moving when it is not supposed to move or it is supposed to move but it's not moving for example here thread is having a play you are able to move the thread without moving the nut by some distance why because slight gap was there that is the backlash that gap is the backlash it is also called as simply lash or it is also called as play so although as i told you back backlash is important is necessary but at the same time it has its negatives as well especially if it gets too large if a machine has been used a lot you are using a machine since uh, so many months and years it's wearing and tearing you are not paying attention to that you are not using enough lubricants there and ultimately wear and tear is causing the backlash to increase that is dangerous right it cannot be zero it should not be very high it should be a small value and this is not good when it comes to machining as i told you it can you know temper your calculation it can uh, cause error in your calculations and in your final product but this backlash is even more enhanced depending upon whether you are choosing conventional up milling or down milling or we call it climb milling also depending upon that also it can get affected let me show you how focus on this diagram here okay and right now don't focus on the cutter don't focus whether it is up milling or down milling just don't focus here focus only here that you need you need to give 
feed to the workpiece in this direction okay so you were having the thread threads were rotated in such a way that threads are pushing this nut or the table in this direction as you can see here thread is pushing it this is the contact now this 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 right so this thread is pushing it in this direction right you can see it from here since both of them are in contact these two surfaces are in contact these two so this thread is pushing it in this direction right now have a look at this have a look at what type of milling it is it is a up milling as i can see here right and up milling is ensuring that the direction in which the, the teeth are going to apply the force that will ensure that these two surfaces stay in contact. Have a look here. This is the direction in which it is applying the force in this direction, in this direction, in this. Means opposite to the feed basically. The direction that they will be applying majorly will be opposite to the feed in this direction. Right? This is applying force here. Even this is applying force here which will be having an upward component and right component. This will be applying force here which will be having a, this component here and an upward component. So whatever force it is applying can be broken down into upward force as we know up milling and in a force a force along a force opposite to the feed direction. And as you can see here a force opposite to the feed direction will ensure that these two surfaces stay in contact. Basically this table or this nut is being pushed in that direction by this up milling. So this contact is being ensured, right or not? So even though there is backlash, there is a gap, right or not? Even though there is a gap, but that gap is not affecting the things because the cutter forces are ensuring that they stay in contact, right or not? But see what happens in case of down milling. Again, right now don't focus on this, focus rather on this diagram only, focus rather on this diagram only, don't look at the direction of the cutter, just don't look at the direction of the cutter. Same thing is going on but suppose in this situation down milling we were doing, suppose. So this thread, what it is trying to do, it is trying to give feed in this direction, how it can be ensured? by making this contact only then it can push it now only then it can push it in that direction if suppose if this was the situation hypothetically assume this was the situation don't consider up milling down milling just look at this is it possible that at this point of time this thread this thread can push this nut is it possible at this point of time at this point of time, can this thread push the nut in this direction? No, how it will push? There is gap here. In order to push the nut in this direction, firstly it needs to contact this surface and then it will be able to push it. Now, if nut needs to be pushed in that direction, this surface needs to contact this surface. Firstly they will contact and then it will push it. Right now, it can push it in that direction because this contact is established. There it can push it. But if you will say that thread push the nut in that direction right now, right now he cannot do it. He needs to first contact it and then it will push it. Right or not? So here if you look at it, that contact is maintained. So it will be easily able to push it in that direction. Right or not? But here suppose now in place of in place of up milling, suppose there is down milling. So what will happen? The down milling teeth will apply a force as you can see from here in this direction. So it will be having a downward component and a component along the feed. The force component along the feed is something that we have already discussed, right? The velocity component and the force component. So please remember that. Here, if instead of up milling, down milling was occurring. So that down milling will apply a force in this direction, which will be having a downward component and a component along the feed, right or not. This component along the feed will try to push the nut here. As you can see, there is a gap between 
the thread in the nut and this force is trying to push it through the gap and there are chances it can move it has space it has space the cutter is applying the force it can move there but remember if it tries to move there this contact here may get broken this contact and why is this contact important because ultimately the feed is given in this direction which means nut needs to move in this direction and this direction it can move only when this contact is maintained only then it can push it here now when this contact is maintained if this contact gets broken like this suppose due to the downward force of the up sorry due to this force of the downward milling one component will be coming here which will try to push the nut there in that direction and nut has shifted suppose here down milling was occurring down milling force was acting along the feed and that feed has pushed the nut here and nut has now come towards left gap was available backlash was available it has come there and it has reached here now now is it a good situation no why because i want to give feed to the workpiece where in this direction but due to the force of the cutter it has already lost this contact the nut has lost this contact so again it needs to slightly move till it contact the nut and then it will be able to push it right now there is a gap between them due to which there is slight play play between the thread and the nut nut can move the thread can move but nut will not move so imagine this in a continuous operation you are continuously trying to feed it but cutter is continuously trying to apply a force that will break the contact which will make giving feed difficult so there will be continuous backlash in that process very the machining will be having a lot of errors due to this backlash continuous feed will be a problem and you will keep giving rotation to the thread right but that rotation will not be continuously reflected in form of feed motion so machining process will get hampered what do we understand from this out of up milling and down milling down milling is not suggested if backlash is present especially if the machine is old which will be having even higher backlash and therefore we need to use backlash eliminator there are certain devices used which can eliminate the backlash those backlash eliminators needs to be used for down milling but in up milling you may not use the backlash eliminators that's what it is written here no backlash eliminator is required for up milling because the contact is maintained the force by the cutter is also ensuring the contact is maintained so even though there is a gap but that gap is not affecting the process but here backlash eliminator is required especially if the milling machine is an older one so i hope this point 11th point 11th right 11th point also got cleared and at the same time you understood the concept of backlash